The Turner Centre, one of the far north's most valuable cultural and community assets, is under threat of permanent closure unless a solution can be found to fill its significant maintenance and upkeep deficit. A building like this these days would cost in the region of 150 to 200 million to build a new facility. So we're really lucky that you know so many members of the community got together and fundraised to build the centre. Um, now it's about keeping it alive and keeping it as an important performing arts centre and community centre here in the north. The most promising option is for the Far North District Council to take ownership of the building and to plug the deficit in the budget. The trust that currently runs the centre can then focus on its core responsibility of events bookings, programming and community engagement. The issues are that basically the centre runs at a deficit and because of that um, a lot of the maintenance has been deferred. Sustainable models around performing arts centres they're usually propped up to the, the value of that deficit. It's a wonderful facility, but it needs uh, some work on it to be able to bring it up to a modern standard. You know, we need to do this in partnership with Council. As the Turner Centre turns 18 this year, there are major roof repairs currently underway and an expensive schedule of maintenance and renovations to keep the building fit for purpose. The Turner Centre here, we've got a wonderful auditorium. It's the only of its size actually north of Auckland. It's got the full uh, counterweight rigging system. We've got the, the plaza and the event centre, which in effect act as a town hall. A centre like this, any town would be proud of. A town the size of Kitty Kitty, uh, we're really lucky. Um, we also, there's engagement with towns all around Northland. Um, so we're very lucky to have a lot of schools come in for shows from Kaitaia, from uh, the likes of the Hokianga, down in Kawakawa, Morua, Totara North, Kaikohi. So it acts as a regional uh, facility as well, you know, that uh, really benefits people from all around. With the unexpected events and challenges of the past three years, the centre's income had taken quite a hit. But events and activities are now back and in high demand. Last year we had 420 events, meetings, conferences, hui, wānanga that happened throughout the year. Um, it's utilised by over 32 community groups who we gave discounts of over $150,000 last year. We have everything from the Rural New Zealand Ballet to the Symphony Orchestra to local musicians, Troy Kingi performing here, kapahaka groups, local community theatre groups. There's just so much going on and uh, the, the Far North just wouldn't get access to these amazing uh, performances and exhibitions if it weren't for having the centre here. It's clear that the current funding model for the centre is not a long-term option and the threat of closing its doors is one the community will be keen to avoid. Performing arts centres and community centres around the world are never commercially viable on their own, so they depend on the support uh, of local government to be able to uh, you know, make them sustainable. So how can the general public show their support for this proposal? So the best thing people can do right now is jump on the Far North District Council website, there's a link to it on the Turner Centre website, and make a submission in favour of this proposal, explain how the, the centre has affected you or added to your well-being um, living here in Titai Tokoro and if you know a, a local councillor feel free to put in a good word about the, the decision as well about the proposal. To register your support for the Turner Centre please go to turnercentre.co.nz and follow the links. Submissions close on Monday the 24th of April. This is Harley Alexander for Far North News.